Fortress, uh, probably most famous for the for being the voice of the sniper in Team Fortress 2. I'm also in a couple of Halo games, uh, Half-Life 2, Left 4 Dead, Total Annihilation, The Matrix Online, I was Agent Grey, um, oh, uh, Lord of the Rings War in the North, I was Balram, the Great Eagle, and stuff like that. So I do a lot of voice work. Um, I am the only person I have ever met who became an actor because the work was steadier and the pay was better. Um, so you can only imagine what I did before that. I was a jazz fusion guitarist and composer. So I, this guy knows what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, I didn't go to CU, but I did go to both Fairview and Boulder High School. I dropped out of high school three times. Many people find that excessive, but it worked for me. Um, and uh, <clears throat> with us today is actually the guy who saved my life and uh, was such an inspiration for me. Um, and just just to piss him off and embarrass him, I'd love to, for you guys to give him a hand. Bob Jeffrey, my band teacher. He's, uh, he, found me, he found me when after my uh, home had blown up, uh, and I was living in a commune up Four Mile Canyon, uh, and uh, said, "Listen, why don't you crash at my uh, apartment and finish up your high school degree?" And if it wasn't for him, I'd probably be dead. So. He, it's his fault. Put it right in my hand. So my name is Denora, and we're here with John Patrick Lowry. And he is very famous um, acting, voice acting, right? Yeah. So how is it that you went about, like, what was kind of like that first event that you were like, I think this is where I want to go with my life? Oh, well, uh, I, my voice never changed. When I was born, the nurses in the hospital called me the B-29 because I had this deep voice. When I was in first grade, they made me the narrator of the Christmas pageant because everybody thought I sounded like Walter Cronkite. And my big regret is that they didn't have video cameras back then. I would have loved to see this little three foot tall guy sounding like me. It, that just would have been weird. Um, and so I, I was always into performing. Uh, my father was a musician. I mean, he was an electrical engineer, but uh, he played trombone and guitar and harmonica and piano. And uh, I started trombone when I was in uh, the summer before fourth grade, or I guess after fourth grade. And uh, met uh, uh, Bob Jeffrey, my band teacher in uh, junior high school. And also in Boulder, at the time, and I hope this is still true here, but it's not true in a lot of places, there was a music department and a drama department in junior high school, in elementary school. Um, we had choirs and bands in elementary school and junior high school and high school. There was auditoriums, not just gymnasiums that you could put a play in. Um, and this was... Very, so I was doing plays from you know junior high school on, and I was playing in the band from fourth grade on. Um, I fell in love with a woman who broke my heart when I was a junior and I was thinking about being an architect at that time but I started writing all these songs and I realized that no, what I want to be is a composer um, but really the craft of composing and the craft of acting and writing I've also written a science fiction novel now are all crafts that take place in the medium of time and so it's structuring time in a way that is instructive and entertaining to the person experiencing it. And so those all blended together for me. When I went from composing to acting, it was a natural transition. When I went from acting to writing, it was a natural transition. I was working in the same medium. I was just kind of doing different things with it. Of course, of course. And now, how do you see yourself? Like, what are the next steps for you? What are the next big things that you're wanting to accomplish? Or, like, what's the next big thing that you really want to get to? Um, I'm kind of zen about that stuff. I really only have one goal, and that's to be useful to other beings. Um, if I write something, I hope it'll be useful to someone. If I write music or, or a novel, if I act, I hope it'll be useful to the audience. Um, I think that anything else is the empty sack. Um, wanting to get things or get accolades or accomplishments. It's interesting to me that you can read through the entire Shakespeare canon and never run across the word productive, and never run across the word accomplishment. These are newer neuroses that we have developed. I think our relationship with the universe is not one of being famous or achieving. It's one of being useful. So that's my goal. Well, thank you very much. We really do appreciate you being with Absolutely. us, John. Great to hear yeah, you. thank you.